I am a 27-year-old male who was adopted as an infant. Growing up, I always knew I was adopted. My parents never made it a secret or something to be ashamed of. In fact, they were very open about it and always made sure I understood that being adopted didn't make me any less their child. However, even though it was never treated as something negative in my family, I've never liked talking about my adoption with other people. Whenever I mentioned it, it seemed to spark a lot of questions. Questions that I didn't feel like answering. People would often ask about my biological parents, or, as some would call them, my real parents. What always bothered me the most, though, was how some people would treat my adoptive parents like they weren't my real parents, just because we weren't biologically related. I first experienced this when I was much younger, probably around the time I started school. Back then, I was proud of my adoption story. I used to tell people about it because I thought it was special. But as soon as I realized how people's reactions made me feel uncomfortable, I stopped sharing. The last time I openly talked about being adopted was before we moved when I was a preteen. After the move, I made a conscious decision not to bring it up anymore. I didn't want to deal with the questions or the judgment, so I just acted like my adoptive parents were my biological parents. That decision simplified things a lot for me. When I started dating my fiancé, I was honest with her about my adoption from the beginning. She's been supportive and understanding. But aside from her and a handful of close friends, I've never told anyone else. It's just not something that I think needs to be shared with everyone. For me, it's a deeply personal matter, and it doesn't affect anyone outside of my immediate circle. This includes my fiancé's family. I never saw the need to tell them. Recently, though... My adoption became a topic of conversation when I least expected it. During a visit with my fiancé's family, something happened that I had been trying to avoid for years. A private investigator knocked on our door and informed me that my biological parents were trying to get in touch with me. I was caught off guard, and to make matters worse, my fiancé's family overheard the entire exchange. After the investigator left... They immediately started asking me a lot of questions about my adoption. But what hurt me most wasn't their curiosity. It was their anger. They were upset with me for two main reasons. First and foremost, they were angry that I hadn't told them I was adopted. They felt like I had kept them in the dark about something important. Even though my fiancé tried to explain that it wasn't their business, they still felt betrayed, like I had withheld something vital from them. Secondly, they couldn't understand why I would turn down the chance to meet my biological parents. During my conversation with the private investigator, I had told him I wasn't interested in having any contact with them, and I asked him to pass that message along. My fiancé's family couldn't comprehend how I could turn away from my real family, as they called them. But their main criticism was focused on the fact that I hadn't told them I was adopted. They argued that this information could have had significant implications for potential grandchildren, especially if there was any unknown medical history that could affect their health. They acted like I had done something wrong by not disclosing my adoption, even though, to me, it was a private matter that didn't concern them. My fiancé stood by me throughout the entire ordeal. She repeatedly reminded her family that my adoption was none of their business, and when they refused to let the topic go... She asked them to leave. Even after they left, though, her parents remained angry with me, and the situation has left me feeling conflicted and frustrated. I've spent so much of my life trying to avoid exactly this type of reaction, and now it feels like everything is blown up in my face. I'm not sure if I'm in the wrong here. Part of me wonders if I should have told them sooner, just to avoid all of this. But another part of me feels strongly that my adoption is something deeply personal, and it's not something I should have to share with anyone unless I choose to. Recently, some people have suggested that I should be proactive in dealing with my in-laws. They've warned me that in situations like this, well-meaning family members sometimes take it upon themselves to reach out to biological relatives, thinking they're doing the right thing. I've been told that if my fiancé's parents contact my biological family behind my back, it could lead to complications. To prevent that, I might need to be clear with them about the consequences if they overstep boundaries. 
whether it's limiting contact or even uninviting them from the wedding. I need to decide how firm I'm willing to be if they don't respect my privacy. I honestly don't understand why they're so angry with me. It's not like I chose to be adopted, and my adoption hasn't affected my life negatively in any way. In my family, adoption has never been treated as something that separates people. For example, my cousin was also adopted, and it's always been a non-issue for us. We've never seen him as any less a part of the family just because we're not biologically related. I've always viewed my parents in the same way. They are my parents, full stop. This situation with my fiancé's family has thrown me for a loop because I've never noticed them behaving like this in other situations. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they were just caught off guard and reacted poorly. I'm thankful, though, that my fiancé has been supportive and firm in setting boundaries. She's made it clear that this is a personal matter and her family doesn't have the right to an opinion on it. I hope that they eventually come to their senses and drop the issue, because the last thing I need is more stress during such a busy time in our lives. I completely agree with my fiancé's stance. My real family is the one that raised me. That's all that matters. However, one point was brought to my attention that I hadn't considered before. Someone suggested that even if I don't want a relationship with my biological family, it might be worth getting updated medical information from them for the sake of my future children. As a parent, I want to make sure I'm doing everything I can to protect my kids. So this is something I'm thinking about, even though I have no desire to reconnect with my biological parents. In the end, I feel torn. I know I haven't done anything wrong, but the weight of the situation has been difficult to carry. It felt as though my sister expected the entire family to put their lives on hold for her and the baby. It started with my parents, who had been looking forward to a special trip for their anniversary. This trip wasn't just any vacation. It was something they had been planning for months, a celebration of their years together. But my sister, knowing about their plans, guilt them into canceling it. She framed it as though she desperately needed their help with the baby playing on their emotions to the point where they felt they had no choice but to stay. Instead of their romantic getaway, they spent that time catering to her and the baby's needs. My sister didn't stop there. She also asked me to take time off work to come and support her, which at first sounded reasonable enough. But when I actually got there, I realized that support wasn't what I expected. Instead of being there for emotional comfort or helping with the baby, I found myself running errands, cleaning her house, and taking care of chores she didn't want to deal with. It felt like I was her personal assistant rather than her sibling. The situation reached a boiling point during a family dinner we had last weekend. For about 30 minutes straight, she monopolized the conversation, talking endlessly about how blessed she is to have her baby and how difficult her life is as a new mom. She kept going on about how no one could possibly understand her struggles unless they had been through the exact same thing. It was as if she believed her experience was more significant than anyone else's, as though she was the only person to ever go through the challenges of parenthood. After listening to this self-centered monologue for what felt like forever, I finally snapped. I told her, We get it. You had a baby. That's great, but you're not more important than anyone else. You're not the only person who's ever had a kid. The moment the words left my mouth, she burst into tears. My mother immediately rushed to her defense, calling me cruel and insensitive. Now, half of my family is upset with me, and they seem to think I'm heartless or perhaps even jealous of my sister. But that's not the case. It just feels like she's using the baby as an excuse to manipulate everyone into bending over backward for her. For some added context, my sister doesn't have a partner. She made the decision to go through IVF and have a child on her own, so there's no baby daddy in the picture to share the responsibilities. This means she leans heavily on our parents, me, and other family members for support. I fully understand that raising a child as a single mother is a difficult task. However, it becomes overwhelming when it feels like she expects us to bear the brunt of those challenges. She often demands that we drop everything to help her, and she doesn't seem to recognize that we all have lives of our own. What adds to the frustration is that she's financially well-off, much more so than the rest of the family. 
Despite her wealth, she still expects us to contribute financially, whether it's helping pay for baby supplies or chipping in for household expenses when we visit her. It's not just the money, though. It's the expectation that everything revolves around her and the baby, as if our own responsibilities and commitments don't matter. It's especially tough for me because I have a toddler of my own. I'm juggling the responsibilities of being a parent, working, and maintaining my household. Yet, my sister frequently pressures me to take time off from work to assist her, insisting that I leave my toddler with my spouse so I can cater to her needs. It feels unfair as I also have my own family to take care of, and I can't always be there at her beck and call. In many ways, I can't help but feel that she made the choice to have a baby on her own, and with that choice comes the understanding that she would have to handle the challenges of single parenthood. She shouldn't expect the entire family to step in and act as co-parents simply because she decided to go through with IVF. We love her and want to help, but there has to be a limit. She can't just dump all the responsibility on us whenever it suits her. During that dinner, when I finally voiced my frustration, it wasn't because I don't care about her or the baby. It was because I felt like she was asking too much. She seems to believe that the world should revolve around her because she's a new mom, but that's simply not the case. Expecting our parents to cancel their anniversary trip just to care for a baby was the tipping point for me. They've given so much already, and they deserve to enjoy their time together without feeling guilty about it. What's more, my sister chose to become a single mother through IVF. It wasn't an accidental pregnancy, nor was it a decision made without thought. She actively pursued this path, and with that comes the understanding that she would be taking on a larger burden. If she wasn't prepared for the realities of single parenthood, then she should have thought more carefully before going through with it. In my honest opinion, it feels like my sister didn't need a baby. She needed therapy. She seems to be using the baby as a way to garner attention and control the narrative of her life. When I had my own child, she didn't offer anywhere near the level of support she now demands from me. I don't mind helping, but I have my limits. She can afford to hire a nanny or find other ways to manage her responsibilities, and it's not fair to ask the rest of the family to constantly pick up the slack. I love her, but she's expecting too much, and it's starting to take a toll on all of us.